what I'm going to tell you during your first minute or your first hour or your first day of this program. You might hate me, but you will not forget me. Uh -huh. <laughs> you're going to love me. You're going to hate me, but you're not going to forget me. Yeah, you're right. I did the way with a little sailboat on top. Right? And I told you, no matter how you feel down here, you know that someday you're going to go up. They have been my classic final lesson. And in this program, I decided to do in the first part of the lesson. So in every class, in every semester, we were able to review how you were in the wave, right? Because some of you were in the bottom, when you were laid off, changing careers, separating from your partners, losing houses, etc. And some of you were in the top, when you have twins, you have uh, new jobs, you have uh, better opportunities, etc. And this is a good part. Everything is a wave. But tonight, I want to go a little bit serious and tell you what I call my four hearts. After 2007, I realized that we have to think in our life in a different way and you have to be able to evaluate how we are doing at work, at home, with a simple model. And I found out that by evaluating my four hearts, I was able to do it. And I want to share with you that. My first heart is what I call my physical heart. And you know that I was very close to that. So I decided that it's important to me to have a healthy life to be sure that I am doing the right thing for the right job. Because some people are working in some places and they are not fit to, that, to do that job. You feel tired, you feel exhausted, you feel that you don't belong, so you are physically tired all day. Every Monday morning is a pain for you. And more heart attacks happen on Monday morning, by the way. So this is something that I have to realize every day how is my physical life doing? How I'm doing? How I go home, how I, I, I rest. Some people don't sleep because at night they are thinking of all the problems they have and all the mess they have in their life. So I want you to be sure that every time that you evaluate a job, a position, a career, a partner, or a situation, you evaluate your physical heart to see how you're doing. But if the physical heart is important, I think that the mental heart is also important. Zero stress, right? Don't stress my classroom <laughs> because this is how we should live. People get a lot of trouble, a lot of problems. I'm not telling you that you're not going to face problems. I am telling you how are you going to face those problems. What kind of mind are you going to have? We are what we eat, right? We all agree. Oh God. We are what we eat. <laughs> But we are what we think, and we are what we talk. The, when we talk, it's like crushing the, the, the pay, the, what's the name of the thing? You used to crush your, your, your pace. The pace, right, the tube. You crush it, and you put it out. You cannot put it in. So every time that you talk, it's no way back. So this is why you have to think before you talk. And you have to be sure that your attitude, your thoughts are positive, and your mental heart is always in the high standard. Because if not, you're going to get stressed, you're going to get tired, you're going to, oh my God, why my migraine? People with migraine, with headaches, is because they cannot control their minds. But along with the minds come my third heart that I call my emotional heart. We are in a place and we hate the boss. We don't like the dean. We don't like the professor. I don't like to work with you. I don't like myself. And you see people all the time, how are you doing? Okay. <laughs> with an ugly face and with a lot of vertical wrinkles, right? You see all the time these kind of wrinkles? You oh, just Chuck. check it out. Oh. No, it's not vertical. It's <laughs> horizontal. <laughs> the horizontal ones are the good ones, right? You're always smiling. 
it's, 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 it's good when you go to a play, you see everybody smiling and you're welcoming. And this is why I came to work on this place, as compared with other places. When the people here is nice, I don't see a lot of trouble. You go to other places and you can cut the air. You can feel the emotions going out. I don't know telling you that getting emotional is not okay because I'm gonna cry on Saturday. If you're not gonna cry, I'm gonna cry. If I don't cry today. Because you know what, I tell people, you are the first class. This is why I get so emotional when I get some these kind of issues. Oh my God, you went to sleep, what happened? I wanna know. Because you are my... Children, guinea pigs. Guinea pigs. <laughs> and we are making a lot of experiments. We're making a lot of experiments with this program. So we want to be sure that we're doing the right things. Not only for you, because you are the first class, or the first batch, I call. Right? We are going to the second. Like the Grammys, you know the Grammys? Have you seen the movie The Grammys? The second batch? <laughs> the same thing. Anyhow, I, 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 I get emotional. I get emotional about this. But when you are in a job, when you're working, or you are in a relationship, you have to be sure that you're able to control those emotions. Because sometimes they can backfire at you. Sometimes you know it's good, but sometimes you know it's not good. You have to go to the fact. People say to me, oh my God, what happened to you? Why? Because I can see it in your face. You can see the face of the emotion, and you have to learn to be a little bit calmer down. And finally, to let you eat, because you don't want to listen to me too much, <laughs> to me this is the most important one. And this is the most difficult to talk, especially in this kind of environment. I call it the spiritual heart. Oh my God. And I believe that we have to live our spirit and believe in something. I don't care what you believe, but I believe that I was saved by the old man sitting on a cloud watching to me. And if, you, <laughs> if you believe in the planet or in the energy, in, in Allah or in God or whatever, it's okay. But I think that we're not here to spend our lives only 80, 90, hopefully 100 years, right? I think that we're here for something else. I want to know what happened after we leave this planet. Are we going to another planet, dimension, state? You name it. I don't care. But I'm sure that when I move to the other place, it's gonna be also good. And this is why I tell people, I am not afraid to die, because I was already close to that. So we have to get ready and live in high spirit. Yeah. When you are in high spirit, it's nothing can bother you. That's right. Nothing can irritate you because you are in peace. One of the most difficult values to keep when you are here is being peace. When you are in a job, I can tell you. Are you in peace? Are you happy with that job? No. Move. Are you happy with that relationship? Work. But if you don't have peace, you don't have anything. So this model is very simple. And I'm telling people, I am not discovering the wheel. I am not, many doctors can tell me, oh my God, you cannot talk about so many hearts, we only have one heart. Yes, but if you explore the word heart in many books and places, Many people talk about heart hearts, about the stone hearts, about the connection between the heart and the brain, between the heart and the spirit, behind the heart and your body and your blood. And every morning when I see myself on the mirror, I ask myself why I am sharing this. I am sharing this because I want you to be successful and happy. And every time that you have any kind of trouble on the way of your life, you remember my four hearts, and you tell me, send me an email and tell me, you know what? Thank you, professor, for that lesson because I am using it. And I expect that answer five, 10, or 20 years from now. Okay? So enjoy your party, enjoy your graduation. Don't look at the past. Maybe you're gonna not have some great things. If you have any problem with your master's degree, let me know. I am recording this, right? <laughs> Talk to me. I'm gonna help you with your master's degree. And someday I will go to your graduation. Um, for those of you that want to be a doctor, welcome to. Integrate everything in life, enjoy life, and be successful. And God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.